This CES coverage was brought to you by SellCashier.com. They compare iPhone prices on the internet and give you the most cash for your iPhone. It's easy, fast, and secure. Hi James, Ed, we're from Washington DC, this is our crew, Alex and Jason, and we are from Washington DC with a YouTube channel called Techvarium. And we'll be honest here, we haven't really heard much about Hisense, so we want to know what it is, what it's like, how it works, operates, what's under the hood, and what could you suggest about getting one when it hopefully becomes available in the States? Yeah, so Hisense is mainly known here in the US for its television, so it's going to they came in at a price point slightly below Samsung and it's delivering an amazing picture quality. So you can see it at Best Buy, you can find it at all the major retailers. Um, but that's kind of where it stops for here in the States. So in China, in Europe, we have cellular devices. So those aren't going to be for sale here in the States in the foreseeable future, but we could possibly see them at some point. Um, meaning, well, we have the technology here at CES to show. Um, so a lot of people are interested in that and seeing this kind of stuff that they've come up with for this year. A dual screen is a very interesting feature that doesn't get seen by end users every single day. Can you show us how it works and what it's good for? We were just accidentally told that if the battery runs out, you can actually still use it. Absolutely, yeah. So on the front, you're going to have your Super AMOLED LED screen. Um, as you can see, very bright and amazing quality. And uh, this is running Android on these devices. And so if you'd like to turn the screen over, you have what's called an e-ink screen. And this is not backlit, so it doesn't take any battery usage, or very minimal. And uh, so when you first open it up, you have the widgets right here, so you can see the time, you can see messages, uh, any notifications that come up. And uh, the main application that we like with this is reading. Uh, as we all know, blue light with, for long periods is not great for your eyes. It can cause a lot of eye strain. So we're treating this like having a Kindle on the back of your phone. So we open up a book. You can see how easy it is, nice it is to read. If we bring it over here into more light, the more light that there is, the more it the better it looks. So it works great in the daytime, outside in natural light. So that's some of the uh, applications of the two phase of the um, of the two screen phone that we have here, the A2 Pro. If anything, I actually see it as a replacement for a Kindle, because then you only have one device to use. Thank you so much. Our Absolutely. subscribers definitely appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you for the info.